Today, let's review the nitrogen cycle. I remember that the atmosphere is the main nitrogen reservoir, but that N2 gas isn't bioavailable or usable by plants, which is a major issue because all living things need nitrogen in order to make DNA, RNA, proteins, you know, kind of important things if you want to be alive. Fortunately, there are nitrogen-fixing bacteria with specialized enzymes capable of converting that N2 gas into ammonia in the soil, which is then converted into ammonium, which can be taken up by plants. But humans have also figured out how to synthetically fix nitrogen by burning natural gas under extremely high pressure, which converts N2 gas into ammonia that we can use in fertilizer. When plants take in nitrogen from the soil and incorporate it into their tissues, we call it assimilation. And then when organisms die, decomposers in the soil convert this organic matter into ammonium in a process that's called Ammonification. Listen, scientists aren't always the most creative when they come up with these names. Now, this ammonia can also be converted into nitrite and then nitrate by nitrifying bacteria. And finally, anaerobic bacteria living in waterlogged soils or in lakes can convert this nitrate into nitrous oxide and eventually back into N2 gas.